Hi, welcome to another video on BandLabs. This one I'm focusing on one of the effects features. There's quite a few preset effects within BandLabs, um, but I'm going to be looking specifically at what is a noise gate. So let's head into the mixer. And here we go, we've got a few different ways we can add audio. We've got the voice uh, using a microphone or guitar plugged into an interface or bass plugged into an interface. Let's go with the voice. So here we go, I've got my audio track. You can see I've got my source selected for my channel one. And you can already see that I've got a signal coming in there. So let's just record in some audio. This is a test, a recording to do with noise gates, and we just needed some audio to listen to. This is a test, a recording to do with noise gates, and we just needed some audio to listen to. Okay, so. Next thing we need to be doing is, I want you to be able to hear what I'm doing. So I'm going to change from my audio settings. And when using this monitor, make sure you've either got headphones or be aware of the volume between your speakers coming out and your microphone picking up. So we've got that coming through. Let's go over to the effects. And here's where you can add the effects. So. In here, you've got a whole heap of presets that they've got built in with layers of different effects in there. I want to actually use only one effect so you can see the what it does. So this noise gate is under dynamics. And here we go, let's select it. So let's bring these down. And so this is without anything much happening. So we've got a few things with these. We've got attack, we've got release, and we've got threshold. So attack um, determines how quickly a gate will open. So think of this setting as a, like physically like a gate. So a gate literally lets people through or a sound through. So we want to be able to have the attack or how quickly this gate will open. The release is how quickly it will close up. And the threshold is to do with the level at which the gate will be triggered. So the volume level of when the tr gate will actually start working. Okay, so you can set this to trigger at a um, soft volume or you can tr set this to trigger at a loud volume. Okay, so let's uh, move our attack up. I'm going to bring that up to about 40. I'm going to bring my release up to about oh, 400. Okay, now you won't hear a lot of a difference in this through this video recording, um, but when you play around with it yourself, you'll hear it a little bit better. It doesn't get picked up too much here. But the one you will be able to pick up a lot through this video is the threshold, um, and this will help a lot. So at the moment, I've got the threshold set right down. Let's have another quick listen to the audio. Um, a really good feature when playing around with these is the loop. So let's put the loop on, then I'll be able to loop it and adjust a few things each time it goes through. So with the threshold all the way down, let's have a listen. This is a test, a recording to do with noise gates, and we just needed some audio to listen to. This is a test, a recording to do with noise gates, and we just needed some audio to listen to. This is a test, a recording to do with noise gates, and we just needed some audio to listen to. This is a test, a recording to do with noise gates, and we just needed some audio to listen to. This is a test, a recording to do with noise gates, and we just needed some audio to listen to. This is a test, a recording to do with noise gates, and we just needed some audio to listen to. Okay, I'll stop and repeat there. Now you'll notice that the louder I got, my voice is getting affected, let's turn that down. Okay, because this is affecting my microphone, I might flick my... other mic on now. Okay, so if I put that back up again, when the threshold was set really high, okay, that you have to have a loud signal coming through in order for this gate to be triggered. When the threshold was down lower, a lot more signal came through a lot easier. So if I put that up high again and play it, okay, you'll hear that only the loudest parts of what I said could actually come through the gate. This is a test, a recording to do with noise gates, and we just needed some audio to listen to. 
and you notice that some words were missing. So with this one, I'd want to bring the threshold down a little bit and then I can check to see if my words are coming through enough. This is a test, a recording to do with noise gates and we just needed some audio to listen to. And you notice I've got no background sounds coming through with that now. I've got the threshold set about right for what I need. Okay, um, let's try another example. So I'll mute that track and I'm going to add a guitar track. And we'll make sure I've got the source set up. Let's go to channel 2. And I think for you to hear that, I've got to click monitoring. Hopefully that's coming through. So, um, let's do a little bit of guitar playing. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'll play a bit of noise on the guitar, I'll move my hands up and down the fretboard, okay, and then I'll be able to um, play a few chords after that one. Let's get the guitar in there, there we go, now you can see what I'm doing. So let's just have a go recording some guitar audio. Okay, let's have a little listen to that. Okay, so hopefully you could see or hear and hear some of the actual guitar getting picked up. So what I want to be able to do this time is put that noise gate back on and hopefully we'll be able to eliminate um, all the guitar noise where I'm moving my fingers up and down the actual fretboard and you could hear me actually tapping on the actual guitar as well. So let's go back into our effects, bring it in again, noise gate. Uh, let's bring the attack up a little bit. Let's bring the release up a little bit. Okay, and let's start off with the threshold. We've heard it without. Let's have it up at about there. Let's have a listen this time. So you can just hear this. Okay, let's go back again. Let's bring up the threshold. Let's see if we can hear me moving up and down the fretboard. You can just hear it. Let's bring up the threshold a bit more. can't hear the sliding of the guitar, but you could just hear me tapping on it. Okay, let's bring up the threshold just a little bit more. That was nearly completely gone. Okay, so um, it could be that some people would argue that um, you could just trim that out. Okay, um, I probably could in this example, um, but um, imagine if you're playing and you're not playing and the guitar's playing and stopping all the time, are you going to go back in and edit every single bit of clip every time you've got a slight gap between a few chords and those things, or do you just simply put a gate on it? Okay, so let's turn that gate off again, have another listen to the original sound. Okay, and one more time with the gate on again.
Okay, so that's roughly on noise gates. Noise gates. Hopefully that's helpful, either on voice or guitar. Um, if you found this um, useful, um, please definitely subscribe. Definitely um, ask questions below. Um, you might have some other features that you might like me to have a look at, or um, you might be able to tell me about some situations where you've actually used this noise gate and it's worked really well for you.